targets and not their triggering. So they must cut emissions and not cut trees. So there's a lot of people around here right now. If any of you can find somebody from the Swedish, Finnish, or Austrian delegation, we need to have some words with them. They're taking a rest right now. Yeah, they're, they're resting. Just they've been busy. They've been meeting with a lot of delegates. And <laughs> they also made the trip here from Sweden, uh, Austria, and Finland. So it's a long ways for them to come. And oh. uh, then they had to do a lot of lobbying once they got here. So. And who? I didn't know that trees sleep with their eyes open. That's kind of weird. They do. That's why they have these these special tree uh, <laughs> tree covers that keep them happy while they're sleeping with their eyes open. Because otherwise the lights just you know give them away. Yeah. Okay. So tell us about Finland, Sweden, and Austria. So, as you know, climate change is this massive, complex problem, and fixing it is one of the largest regulatory efforts ever in history. And there's a lot of room for people to use tricks and fudging the books to get out of their commitments and their obligations. And what we saw uh, yesterday and today is that uh, Sweden, Finland, and Austria are trying to use a trick to get out of their commitments to reduce emissions. They're saying that if that normally they would cut down a lot of their forests. But because of this agreement, they may be willing not to, and they should get credit for not doing that. Just like but Brazil. They, <laughs> just like Brazil and Indonesia, yeah. where there's been yeah. massive deforestation, where it's very hard for those countries to stop that happening. Yeah. Sweden, Austria, and Finland are saying, we're in the same camp, and we deserve emissions credits for stopping all our forests from being cut down. And that's uh, a dirty trick and it's undermining the negotiations, it would undermine their meeting their targets, and it undermines the position of the EU as a fair broker uh, in these negotiations. So, uh, angered by this move, uh, trees from Finland and Austria and Sweden made their way here to the negotiations and met with the delegates and said, uh, don't chop down trees, chop down your emissions targets. I think these guys are not used to having immediate intense pressure on them for the moves they're trying to make in the backroom negotiations. Right. And uh, Sweden, you know, styles itself as a climate champion. Yeah, and yeah. Believe well, and Finland does too. Finland as well, exactly. And Austria is no, no, uh, yeah. no George W. Bush in this whole solution, right. this whole scenario. So uh, I think they're going to be sensitive to activists calling them out at this moment. This is the biggest climate meeting and this is the biggest, one of the biggest mandates in history. Uh, no one wants to be responsible for the failure of this thing. And part of what these trees came and said was, don't be responsible uh, for the failure of Copenhagen.